On November 6, 2023, an officer pursued a gray vehicle traveling at high speed after it fled a traffic stop. The driver reportedly ignored multiple stop signs while attempting to evade capture, weaving through intersections and putting other drivers at risk. What is your problem? You got scared, bro. Why were you scared? Because. All right. Stand by. An officer approached a gray vehicle that had come to an abrupt stop in the middle of a street. The driver, a woman, immediately showed resistance and was visibly agitated, which quickly escalated into an argument with the officer. Show me your hands. What's your problem? What? Give me your ID. What is your problem? Why were you Despite repeated attempts by the officer to maintain control and de-escalate the situation, the woman's refusal to comply led the officer to take immediate action. Recognizing the potential risks involved, the officer decided to place her under arrest to ensure both public safety and her compliance. Scared. Alright. Stand by at 137th and Indian. the car. Just you. Over here. All of you. All right. Hands behind your back. Hey guys, wait a second. I have an exciting surprise for you. I've launched a new YouTube channel named Police World Crime, where I'll be posting thrilling body cam footage every alternate day. You love our content, and now we're bringing you even more on our new channel, Police World Crime. Now I need your support to hit 1,000 subscribers in less than 24 hours. Let's tackle this challenge together. Head over to our new channel, Police World Crime, and subscribe. Also drop a comment saying subscribed, so I know you're with us on this challenge. And I have also uploaded a brand new video on our brand new channel. And that video is really, really exciting, so don't miss it. And also, don't forget to turn on the bell notifications to all so you will never miss whenever we post our new videos. You'll find the link to our new channel in the end screen, description, and on the pinned comment. Let's smash this goal and make our community even stronger. After the arrest, the officer carefully escorted her to the patrol vehicle, where she was seated in the back for questioning. At first, the woman remained hesitant, only providing fragmented details of the incident. Yep. All right. Can I go in my car real quick? Hold on. Uh, I will get it for you, okay? I'm going to go back to my car. Nothing on you, right? In your pockets? No. Okay. Have a seat. No, thank you. You're under arrest. Have a seat. Have a search. Dude, what's your problem? Me? No, hers. Bro, I'm not going to lie to you. You got yeah. a little bit scared. Why? Because you pulled out and we were with them. And we were squeezing kind of fast. And we didn't know where Well, yeah. Going. I mean, I was just, I, my plan was to write you a warning for speeding, but now she's going to go to jail. Yeah, she ran from the cops. I mean, oh my God. however, as the officer continued the questioning process, she gradually began to reveal more about the situation, giving the officer a clearer picture of her actions and motives during the chase. What do you expect? I don't think she really tried to run. She was just. She went through that stop sign that wasn't even there. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I mean, where where are y'all headed to? We we're going to McDonald's. The one was closed right outside of um. Is mall. Said, I mean, is going to is McDonald's down, down here off 137th of Street? I have no clue. She's driving. The answer that is no. The one over by Largo Mall was closed. Hey, whose car is this? This is hers. Okay. Did the right to remain silent? Anything you say kind of will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have him or her present. While you are being questioned, if you cannot afford one, 
prior one will be appointed to you to represent you before any questioning. If you wish, you can decide at any time to exercise these rights, not answer any questions, or make any statements. Do you understand these rights as I've read to you? Uh -huh. Do you have these rights in mind? Do you wish to talk to me? Is that yes or no? I'm oh, sorry, what's that? Having those rights in mind, do you wish to speak with me? Yes. Okay. So, what happened? Why are we right here? Because my oh, plan was to just write you a, a ticket for speeding, okay? But you saw me pull out, and then what happened? Um, I honestly just thought I could get away, which was kind of stupid in hindsight, because I don't want to pay a ticket, but now I'm arrested, so... Yeah, now you're going to jail, correct? Not good, I guess. Okay, so, I mean, why did you decide to stop all of a sudden? Because I realized I wasn't going to go anywhere, and it was just going to... I realized what I had done was stupid, so I just stopped. Okay. Alrighty. Did you grab my phone off? Uh, I, I, um, I will. Do you want the car to go with him, or should we tow it? Have him take it, please. Okay. By systematically questioning her, the officer was able to compile a detailed account of the events leading up to her apprehension. She offered explanations for her actions, although her answers were often inconsistent or evasive. Can you search her and put her in your car while I knock out the affidavit? Uh, yeah, sure. All right, Nelly, hop out. This officer's going to search you, and then we're going to put her in the back of your car, okay? We'll let you some paperwork. Yeah. Do you have anything on you that's going to hurt me, stick me, poke me? No. Anything in your shoes? No, should I take them on? No, you're fine. Okay. Alright, come on. To complete a thorough investigation, the officer also turned to bystanders who had witnessed the chase. Each witness provided detailed accounts, helping the officer build a well-rounded understanding of the incident. All right, man, so you do not have a valid driver's license. Oh, so you need to contact the courts, because yeah, you, you, you did not I'm comply on. with what the courts asked you to do, I guess. I'm on. I'm on. So, I don't know if they asked you to do like a driving school, maybe you didn't provide them proof that you've done a driving exactly. school. I had a driving school for Pinellas County. I never went. So you you gotta get that sorted out before you can get your license back. So you're not gonna be able to drive her car away tonight. I can get somebody to come get her. Too. Um, that would be up to her. If it's her car. I get her mom to come get it. Well, that, that again, that, that would be up to her. She's gotta be the one to say that. K2 welfare check. You get back there. I'm just waiting. I'm like, oh, K2 welfare check. Your phone? Yeah. Literally, it's right there. Huh? Oh, yeah, you're not going to get it, though, until you get to the jail. Oh. That would kind of defeat the purpose of being in custody, so. They'll let you uh, get numbers and stuff out of it once you get there, though. Because what's going to happen is you're going to get transport vans going to come get you. They're going to put the cuffs to the front, so it's a little more comfortable for you. Your phone's going to go with you. Anything else that you need to go with you? Okay. Absolutely not. Okay. Um, well, then I guess not. Can okay. I say bye to Dylan? Uh, no. Not right now. So, um, here's here's kind of the gameplay, man. You're good to go. Um, he's saying that you had a buddy, another car that was close to you. Um, so if you want to call them and have them come pick you up, or if you I'm just want to start walking. Okay, um, well, they're probably going to transport her somewhere else to wait for a van to pick her up. What county are you guys out? So, where are you um, going to take her? What county? County jail. Okay. So, that's where she'll go, and she'll... She's going to be bonded out, or ROR? I can tell you that's up to the jail. All right. Um, so if you want to contact the jail in probably like two hours when she's in and process. I hate to ask you, Cash Weekly. Uh, probably not right now, no. Um, but 
if you want to contact the jail in like two hours and see if she's processed to see what's going on with her, you can. Um, yeah. But other than that, you're good to go, my man. Yeah, I'm going to stick here with her wit for okay. a second. Um, I'll just have to have you then. Just stay away from the vehicle because we have to do an inventory on the vehicle for her. Is she getting towed? Yep. So the phone's going to go with you. Transport van's going to come get you. They'll get you down to the jail um, and get you everything like that. Um, I don't really foresee you being in there too, too long unless you go and see a judge or something, but I'm not quite sure how that works. Um, but they'll make you, they'll let you make phone calls and stuff and they'll be able to get you phone numbers out of your phone and everything, okay? Also about your vehicle, we're going to tow that because he does not have a license. Yeah, here, okay, so... Well, here's the thing. With the comprehensive statements and evidence gathered from both the driver and the witnesses, the officer decided it was necessary to transport the woman to the station for further processing. I'm gonna be honest. Is, is that she, I talked to her and she admitted that she, she, she got a little spooked. No, well, she thought she was spooked, but then she thought that she could outrun me. And she only stopped because, she, because what she said. I told said, her to. Well, she, well, yeah, I, but I she, told her, I said, we need yeah, to so, so, so she. She knew what she was doing because she even said to me that she thought she could outrun me. Okay. She said that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so um, her her bond's not gonna be high. Okay. Um, I, I don't know what her records are like, but it's, I mean she's only 18, so I doubt she has anything big on it. Mm -hmm. She's straight. Actually, she's straight. But like, like I said, dude, like all this was gonna be was at most. I supposed to be in ticket, which I was probably going to knock down anyways, but... She got a little scared, bro, because this is what happened. Okay. When we had when we had hit the corner, we were sitting in McDonald's. The uh -huh. Infinity was trailing us, all right? Okay. So we thought... Were you with the Infinity? You, yeah, they're some okay. of my buddies of mine. So okay. we thought you were getting them. So what we're going to do is is what anybody else would do. If lights get behind somebody, we're going to split, you know what I'm saying? So okay. she, she went. So we didn't see you get behind us until right here when I told her to pull over. So why did she go through the stop sign? And she didn't see it. I'm gonna be straight up. She didn't see it. I didn't even see it. We did come up a little bit quick on it. I know she didn't hit any more than 45 on the dash. Okay. I know that for a fact. All right. She didn't. I didn't know she said that she was gonna run, but yeah. what I know was is that we thought you lit the infinity up. Yeah. We we're gonna do our thing and just get get by the infinity. You know what I'm saying? Yep. I really no, feel said bad she, for her. She had on on my camera. She she said that she she thought she could outrun me. So. Yeah, that's not going well in court. So, but yeah, so I said her 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 bond won't be high. Um, she will. Court she don't has, happen on Sunday morning, does it? What? Court don't happen on Sunday morning, does uh, it? Um, no, uh, court no, but her her bond won't be more than probably like a thousand bucks. So, um, ten percent of that's a hundred dollars. Yeah, exactly. So, um, do All you right. ever ride out of here? I don't. Um, I do have a quick question. Yeah. Um, I know I'm with her. Uh -huh. Her people's, I know her people's. I stay at her house sometimes. Okay. Is there any way that I could retrieve her mom's phone number from my phone? From? Her phone. Uh, you, you that's, what, that's what I asked her from the band. Yeah. Can I ask her for her mom's phone number so I can give it to him? Yeah. Is that possible? Okay. You might fall down with that box. I'll slide it right out of my hand. What's your last phone number, Natalie? She got a phone. My last phone number? No, you, you, oh, you, my you, phone number? Yeah. 727-554. Mm -hmm. Your phone number? No, we no. need a house phone number. Oh, Somebody five, I can contact for. 596. 726. Yeah, appreciate it. Thank you. Five nine six eight one zero four. Who is that? That's the house phone. It's okay. gonna ring the whole house. Either Mimi, Papa. Do they know what's going on? They know what's going on. They know what's going on. Why did you tell him you got run him? Uh huh. Don't sit out on the camera. All right, here you go. Can I have my neck? You don't. No. You no. Uh -huh. You don't say that on camera, bro. You about to hit the court. It's about to be up. So you don't say that on camera. All right. So you got that. All right. He lit the infinity up. So. Alright. Alrighty. I appreciate it. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Later, the woman was brought before the court to face multiple charges. Violating traffic regulations by running stop signs, 
fleeing from law enforcement during the attempted traffic stop, and obstructing the officer's duties by resisting arrest and refusing to cooperate. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button, share your thoughts in the comments section, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. To stay updated on our future videos, click on the notification bell icon after subscribing. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.